Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to create kind of a pop-up or rollover effect on an image inside of Adobe Muse. Now I know in the past, way back in the years of web design and in the distant past, we would have used something like an image map to do this. And of course, you know, that's old school, old code and um, Muse doesn't do image maps. However, it does something that's a little nice, a lot nicer and a little easier to use. So let's take a look at how we can do this effect where we're gonna basically create a map of the United States and as the person hovers or clicks on a particular state, it pops up um, whatever dialogue you want it to pop up. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Here I am in the Katie's Cafe site, uh, one of the demo sites we use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new page uh, in this site and I'm gonna call this page Locations. So that's where I'm gonna have this image map appear. Let's go ahead and open up the Locations page. And as you can see, it brought over all the items from the master page, and of course, the page itself is blank, waiting for our content. Now let's head over to Adobe Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I've got this nice vector map of the United States. This is cool, it's all vector work here. And what I wanna do is I want this to be nice vector quality on the web. So luckily, Muse can take advantage of uh, scalable vector graphics. So what I'm gonna do here is just simply go up to my file menu, we're gonna do a save as, and we're gonna choose the format of SVG for um, Muse to work with. Let's go ahead and save it. We'll save it out to the desktop just so I can get it quickly, but you would save it to your uh, folder with all your other assets. And we're just gonna go ahead and save this. Uh, let's see, I wanna make sure that um, well, I don't need to preserve the uh, Illustrator editing capabilities because I'm going to keep the original Illustrator file. But we're, we have no fonts to worry about, nothing else to do, so let's go ahead and just click OK. And that will save it out to the desktop as an SVG file. Now let's head back to Muse, and in Muse, what I'm going to do is just go up to my file menu and place it just like I would any other graphic. So there it is, and we'll just go ahead and open it. It'll take a second or two to render that. And once it's rendered, I can then place it. Now, the beauty of scalable vector graphics is, let's say that I decide to place it small at first, and it'll take a second, and it will render it. And once it's rendered, we'll see the full fidelity, full quality of it. Now, of course, that's way too small, so let's go ahead and position it up. And I'm going to do the thing that I would normally not do to a bitmap graphic, because I'm not going to, you know, I wouldn't take a bitmap because it would look just like this, look really bad once it's scaled up. But once I let go, because it's SVG, it will re-render that out using the vector data in the SVG file. So, great that Muse now takes advantage of SVG. And now we can continue with our story of we want to make some of these states, uh, as the person rolls over it, something that pops up. So the way we do that now in Muse is we just simply go up to our widget library and in your widget library you have a folder called compositions and in the compositions folder we're just going to twirl it down and it doesn't really matter which one you start with but if you want to start with one that's going to kind of have you already pretty much set up ready to go then we'll just use the tooltip widget. Now when we drag out the tooltip widget like most of the widgets in Muse, it's going to have three default um, states or options or settings already there. And this is no different. Uh, if we look at this widget, it gave us the widget settings by default, which come up automatically the first time. And then we've got the three hot spots here, the one that's already dark, and the two lighter ones. And of course, if we were doing all states, we'd need 50 of these. So we would need to keep adding more, which you can just click the plus sign to add more. Um, states for your widget. But while we've got the settings here, let me show you one setting we're going to change to make this work um, a lot better, especially if you put something in the pop-up like a link. You want someone to go to the pop-up and click on something inside that little um, window that pops up. If you don't do this, it's going to make it very hard because as soon as they roll off the state to go up to the pop-up, the, the pop-up is going to disappear if we don't do this. So let's go in and um, we're gonna say uh, to show the target on rollover, which means person rolls over it, target's there, 
and to hide the and by the way let me see my, my other op, my other options you can also do it on click so if you were doing it for a, a touch interface you might want to do it for click so because there is no rollover they would tap on it and it would pop up but anyway for rollover and then hide target this is the important one that we're going to change instead of on rollout which means they move off the state and it disappears we want it to do on rollout of the trigger and the target the trigger is the circle the targets the actual um, box that pops up so when they move off of both of those then it can disappear and that's fine okay so that's all we need for the settings here everything else is pretty much um, the way we want it we want to hide all initially mean none of them are showing uh, when the page pops up uh, and uh, now we can go work on the triggers and targets okay so like I said it gives you three by default um, I'm gonna take this uh, third one over here and just keep clicking till I get to it and I'm gonna go ahead and move it down to the state of Georgia now of course um, we want to make this so they don't actually see the dots you can leave the dots there that will give them something to click on but I'd rather they just click anywhere on the state now this is a little trickier because these dots or rectangles uh, can only be rectangles they can't be uh, different shapes I can't rotate it so I have to kind of make it so it's covering most of the state without covering any other part of the state because I don't want them to click on this one by accident now this is the target this the gray box is the trigger the what pops up is the target I'm gonna move the target let's click on the target and move it down because I want it to pop up down here um, near the state of Georgia and of course I can go in here now and I can take out any of the sample text any of the images I can put whatever I want to put in here so I could change all of this make it smaller make it bigger whatever I want to do and I'm just gonna call this Georgia so if I don't need all of this text I can take out what I don't need change it to what I needed to say so forth and so on and then I can manipulate the size of the target itself so for example make that narrower make this narrower you can change this to be whatever size you want it's got rounded corners on it you can take the roundness off whatever you want to do now of course um, we don't want that that gray or black box to show up there we're going to take care of that in a moment let's get rid of the let's take care of the other two targets first so here's the other trigger um, we're, we'll move this one over Michigan for example uh, the home state of Michigan where I'm from all right so we'll just now we can go ahead and cover all of this because there's nothing else around here and all of this including the upper peninsula that's all Michigan so we can have it do all of that area okay and then um, and again we don't want the the target for that to be way down there we want it to be up by Michigan and we can go ahead and just change this to Michigan just so we can kind of see it working here and like I said you would take the time to redesign what's in your target um, hang on right here there we go you would change your target to say whatever you wanted to say okay so there we have Michigan and last but not least um, let's go back to our selection tool we'll grab this third target or trigger and we'll move this trigger over California just to show you because it's kind of tricky having these pop up uh, first of all let's move this out of the way for now and then let's design our trigger to be a little bit bigger for the state of California so we can come outside here in the ocean that's fine but if you go too big then you're gonna be covering up Alaska and you're gonna be covering up Nevada and other other states so we got to kind of keep this narrow uh, maybe because you can't rotate it so that's the frustrating part and we don't want it to come out there on I'm sorry Hawaii and Alaska we don't want those to be covered up which we could move Hawaii up there back in Illustrator but anyway we don't want it to cover those areas all right so now that we've got this um, kind of looking the way we want we don't want these boxes to be visible so and by the way let's move the target for California first of all let's change it to California got rid of the image by mistake let's undo there we go too much selected there California and uh, go to our selection tool and we'll move this target down closer to California all right so there we are so now the next thing is once we get these in place we don't want them to actually be visible 
So what we want to do is we have to realize that each one, you notice the, the light gray ones are the normal states, and then when it's active, it's got a darker gray. Well, we want to, first of all, get rid of any states that we can. So let's get rid of the state of active. Let's get rid of the rollover state. Let's go to the normal state and simply say that it has no fill. Now it's gone, it disappears, but it still works. Same thing here. We'll go to Michigan, same thing. We'll go to the active state and delete it. There is no mouse down state. We'll get rid of the rollover state and we'll go to the normal state and change the fill to nothing. Same thing here for California. And we'll go to the active state, we'll delete it, we'll delete the rollover, and we'll change the fill to nothing. All right, so now we've got it, that's it. We've got our three states <laughs> uh, with triggers and targets. And if we need it more, we could just click the plus sign to add more that would give us a new trigger and a new target, and we put those over whatever other states we want it and we'd have our working image map. So let's take a look at it on the web, see how it works out. So let's go to our uh, file menu. Let's preview this page in browser. And it's gonna give us our page. And again, nothing showing, because we told it to hide all initially. And if I hover over Michigan, there's Michigan. Hover away, it goes away. Hover over Georgia, there's Georgia. And if I had a link in Georgia, I could, Pull down and click on it now because I told it to only go away when I'm off both the trigger and the target. So when I move off both of them, it goes away. Last but not least, California. And again, if I need to click on something in California, I could because I told it to leave it there unless I move away completely. Then it goes away. So we don't have image maps in Muse these days and in modern web design. But we do have these JavaScript widgets that can go in and kind of make it easy for you to do these kind of rollover image things, pop-ups that you used to do back in the old 90s days of web design uh, in a more modern, more um, better architected way. So that's it for this episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.